this is gonna be pretty quick. I just wanna show you a couple of um, new tools we don't know yet, but they're pretty useful um, most of the time. So right now, if I pick this uh, sphere and I wanna zoom at it, like let's say we're really far away, and we have. By the way, I'm uh, duplicating with Control D all my selected stuff. So let's say we want to zoom to this uh, little guy in here, but we're like all the way in here, and we don't want to start zooming, then panning, then zooming again and rotating just to take a look look at this piece, right? So what we can do is just uh, hit F which will focus the selected object, right? We can select more than one object, maybe select all of them, click, uh, hit F on the keyboard, and the camera will automatically uh, focus all of the selected objects, okay? So that's pretty useful when uh, modeling's getting really complex, and it has a lot of, of pieces, so that's, pretty useful okay now if I hit A on my keyboard that will show me all of the stuff I have visible on my scene right so if I go in here and hit F check this piece out maybe do some uh, work down I want to go back and take a look at my um, my whole model I can just hit A and take a look at all of the things that happen my scene. Okay? So let me delete this once. That's one thing. Another thing I wanna I want you to check out is this uh, modify menu. By the way, in all the menus we have this uh, little bar at the top which we can click and it will snap off. It's pretty useful uh, whenever you're gonna be using a menu a lot you can have it uh, just in here all the time until you're done with it you just close it and uh, it's just good to know okay so I'm gonna put this in here and let's say we want to rotate uh, let's start with this we want to rotate this cone but not from this point, right? That's the pivot of the... Let's go to the uh, front view. And this is my pivot, it's right there. So whenever I rotate the piece, it's gonna rotate from the pivot, right? So in order to move my uh, pivot, I must hit D on my keyboard. That's gonna bring these uh, arrows that look a lot like the translate tool, but it's not. What these arrows will do is let me move my pivot. So let's say I need it in here. I'm gonna hit D again to go out of the uh, pivot tool. And now I can rotate from that part, right? So this is pretty useful. Sometimes you can also get your pivots moved without noticing or if you're not careful um, they will end up uh, in just placing places you don't need them to be at so here in modify we have this uh, tool which is called center pivot that will bring my pivot into the center of the mass of my uh, object right so if I click center pivot boom it's reset okay so that's pretty useful and one last thing, thing I want to cover in this video is uh, this one freeze transformations and what it does is basically let's move this cone a little bit and we can see it has been transformed if I hit zero, this translates. It'll go back to the to 
the zero is zero zero of the scene, right? Because that's zero on X, zero on Y, and zero on C. Let's bring this in here, rotate it a bit. And now that this is all uh, different, let's try to freeze transforms. And you can see what it did. It made all of my transforms zero ex except for my scales which have to be one because if they were zero this wouldn't exist right so that's what this does it makes the place and or maybe the transforms the object has are now the um, the, the it's zero okay it's origin that's that's the word I was looking for so if I now move this into another place and bring this back to zero it'll go back to this point where its transforms were frozen right because that's its new origin okay it's pretty useful um, we'll, be, we'll be using these tools more in the future but I wanted to um, get to know them as soon as possible and also another good uh, let's do this another good thing uh, about Maya is all the tools can be uh, edited right so they have their own options whenever you see this kind of square you can click it and you'll be able to select from a number of options depending on the tool so this freeze transforms tool has uh, this uh, little ticks and it, what they basically do is ask us do you want to freeze translates rotates and scales or only uh, only translates right so let's try to scale and now we have scaled the object rotated and moved but if we only have this turned on, whenever I hit apply, all the translates are going to go to zero, right? So I want to keep them on right now. I could do that or go to edit reset settings. In some cases, the tool options are going to be way more complicated than this. So if you don't know what's happening or a tool is not working like it should, just go edit reset settings and most of the time uh, that'll fix the problem okay so remember whenever you see uh, one of these little squares that means you can go into the tool and have the options edited before using the tool right Remember to go back to your selection tool after using whatever tool you used. That way you won't have uh, any errors or random stuff that you don't want to be appearing. So always hit Q after using one of these tools. And one last thing, remember uh, here on the bottom we have freeze transform which will uh, do the stuff it's intended to do and close this window apply will do uh, his thing and don't close this window just in case you want to use it again or close which won't do nothing but close the window right so for instance forms that should close the window or just apply I can hit this many times or just close okay bye bye